Now, still to this day, Kathleen Kennedy is still working on Star Wars The Acolyte and Skeleton Crew, both shows of which, by the way, are going to shift completely away from George Lucas's vision and having nothing to do with the traditional philosophy of the Star Wars universe. And that is one thing that a lot of fans are very skeptical about and on, and on edge about when it comes to, of course, how it's going to be executed and how it's going to really pull itself through the ratings, right? This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing that a lot of fans have been very intrigued about has to do, of course, with everything related to John and Dave's work. The fact that they are pulling a lot of things from Star Wars Legends, making sure that everything that George Lucas created is going to continue on for the fans to actually see. Now, one thing that we do know about Kathleen Kennedy is that she's been having a lot of problems with, of course, the Acolyte and Skeleton Crew, as well as a handful of other Star Wars shows out there in the past, you know? She's always had trouble with, of course, the other shows out there like Kenobi and Boba Fett, which she had a lot of control over since they were supposed to be movies before they became shows even. However, what's even all the more intriguing about this entire situation is why Kathleen Kennedy is so angry right now with both John and Dave over a specific decision that they recently made for one of the upcoming Star Wars shows. Now, I don't know if you guys have been in the loop, but John and Dave have been helping out with Skeleton Crew and the Acolyte to a certain extent. Not fully, but to a certain extent to prevent them from being both a total disaster. This was an order given down by the Disney Board of Directors to have them come on board, come on set, fix a couple things here and there, try to put it back on a better path. And Kathleen Kennedy is not liking this at all with one of the shows. Let's get into it. So, with that being said, given that many new Star Wars shows are in development under Favreau and Filoni, Disney higher-ups are actively creating new strategies for the roadmap. However, with a Kathleen Kennedy, of course, st still leading, leading the Acolyte and Skeleton crew, she recently had a very big problem with both Favreau and Filoni on the set of the Skeleton Crew series, which is said to be a very toxic set that caused Disney higher-ups to bring in John and Dave to fix the aspects of the show toward the middle. Now, Kennedy is said to be having a big meltdown with John and Dave over their latest decision by canceling one of their big retcons in the Skeleton Crew series and are set to replace it with a brand new scene. Now, the scene that they erased from Kennedy's Skeleton Crew was an Order 66 flashback that caused a big cannon-breaking situation for a very special character. This character is said to have been no other than Anakin Skywalker on the night of Order 66, and that Kennedy almost did something that as going to be unfixable for the franchise. So let me just stop right here for a second. Now, Kathleen Kennedy almost did something unfixa unfixable for the franchise. Basically, doing something with Anakin on the night of Order 66 in a flashback again. It really makes you wonder exactly what she was going to do with Anakin in this particular moment and why John and Dave had a big issue with all of it, right? And obviously, you know, we already know that John and Dave care about the fans. They do care about how these shows present themselves to the fandom and the community, where it's all heading, and how it could very well propel, you know, a better Star Wars future. And they want to prevent a... Another backlash similar to The Last Jedi. So the reason why Kennedy had so many problems with Favreau and Filoni literally erasing and canceling this big moment for Anakin in Skeleton Crew as a flashback and how it was going to be canon breaking is that, well, it disrupted her agenda, so to speak. You know, there's no doubt about it. You know, when you look at Kathleen Kennedy, she never really cared about the Skywalkers. I mean, she herself even said that it's time to disregard the Skywalkers and move forward and not deal with them ever again. Obviously, some fans will agree about that, but you know what? Everything needs to remain in balance. We don't need to 100% disregard them. It doesn't have to be that way, and that's exactly what John and Dave realized. You don't have to just kick the Skywalkers out of the focus, out of the rearview window like that. 
You don't have to do that, you know? You can have new things, and you can also have familiar things at the same exact time. You know, I mean, when you look at a lot of new material coming our way, and older material mixing together, that's probably the perfect balance. And that's what John and Dave are doing with multiple new Star Wars shows coming out later, of course, next year into 2024. Now, with that being said and all, all right, moving on to the next thing here, they also made sure to cancel the scene and Kennedy got into multiple arguments with Favreau and Filoni and, of course, for the Disney board. And, of course, they made sure to actually make it happen. The crew members working on this show are also said to have a hard time working with Kathleen Kennedy and even John Watts, the showrunner, is under pressure since he is a dear friend of Favreau and is doing a show he knows will break canon. Right now, Kennedy is falling into multiple arguments with Disney's higher-ups again for allowing John and Dave to take over portions of the Skeleton Crew series in a last-ditch effort to fix the show entirely as much as possible. So, when you look back at Kennedy's track record, right? It's always been a show or a movie or a project that either gets canceled, the creators get fired, or there's creative differences, or there are delays, or it gets, you know, put on hold indefinitely. All of these different things are always done because of Kathleen Kennedy, and that is why the Disney board has been fed up with all of it. They have had enough, and that's exactly why Bob Iger is getting her out by August of 2023. She will be leaving, that is the plan. They are trying everything in their power to get Ron Howard in as the new Lucasfilm president, as long as he has a free schedule. If not, they'll get David Heyman. If not, then they have somebody else to take over. Now, of course, a lot of fans are gonna be worried about who those other candidates really are. We'll be talking about that later on as we learn more about that. However, I mean, when you look at stuff like this with the Skeleton Crew series and how John and Dave are doing things to fix it by putting Ahsoka and Thrawn into the center of the story and a story called The New Beyond, stuff like that, it's going to make the story a little bit more interesting because John and Dave, they don't just throw cameos in for the sake of it. They make sure that it's going to benefit the story, right? In the Book of Boba Fett, you know, it benefited because it showed us Grogu's character development more so. And I get it, it kind of disregarded Boba Fett, I know. But they didn't just throw Luke in there for no reason. This was a great way to showcase how Grogu has this, you know, myster my mysterious mindset, so to speak. This clouded memory. And there's more to tell about that. So... Moving on from all of this, you know, Kennedy's having a hard time with these fixes. John and Dave are having a ball, having a lot of fun on set, trying to do everything they can to fix the Skeleton Crew series. So, anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about all of this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, no.